What is up, Cryotics? In this video, we're talking about this week's Double Money Event Week as well as the property and vehicle discounts. This event week is for October 29th through November 4th, 2020. So to start, the Halloween content they bring back every year did return for the last event week, and it will be continuing for this event week, which is awesome. So that includes the exclusive vehicles and the face paints and all that good stuff. So for those of you who maybe didn't get a chance to mess around with the Halloween content last week or wanted to have some more time to enjoy it, now you have some more time. Anyways, the current casino podium vehicle is the Albany Frankenstein. So this vehicle is primarily based on the Munster coach, which was featured in a 60s TV show called The Munsters. The show was basically about monsters living a normal home family life. I've seen some episodes of it before, and it's pretty entertaining and still kind of funny for being such an older TV show. But anyways, the Frankenstein released about five years ago with the Halloween Surprise DLC update. It normally costs about $550,000, which isn't exactly a ton of money today in GTA these days, but definitely a cool and unique car to win nonetheless. Now this car isn't a sports class is class, and I'm sure some of you will still ask me how it is in terms of performance, and just by looking at it you can tell it's not going to be, you know, the best in the class or anything like that, but it's still a decently fun car to drive, it's a very quirky Halloween car with cool upgrades, and it truly does live up to that while also having a very cool exhaust note and being a ton of fun to drive. So for those of you who maybe paid full price for the Frankenstein and are angry about it being on the podium, you can still take the one you originally purchased and sell it for roughly $500,000 depending on your upgrades. Again, to avoid confusion, please note that what you get for the vehicle depends on what you paid for it. The podium vehicle will not sell for any money. I'm specifically referring to the Frankenstein that people paid full price for. So is the Frankenstein worth attempting to win by spinning the lucky wheel over and over this week? Honestly, if you want a very cool vehicle to get into the Halloween spirit, I think this is the best vehicle to do with, especially since you can get it for free. So you should definitely try winning this one this week if you don't have it already. So starting off with the property discounts, we have 40% off the facilities as well as 25% off the upgrades and renovations for them as well. So for those of you who maybe want to add some upgrades to your existing facility or move to a different location, now's the best time to do it. Moving on to vehicle discounts, so finally the Sports Classics car discounts have repeated for approximately 10 weeks in a row are gone. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Rockstar. I never thought I'd be happy about having discounts removed, but at least now we can maybe get some new ones for Legendary Motorsport website next week or in future weeks as well. Um, this week in particular we don't have any. I'm guessing maybe Rockstar is maybe trying to experiment how they could fix the website, maybe it was broken, again, we don't really know, um, but for this week in particular, there's no legendary motorsport discounts, but I'm sure next week we'll get a bunch. Moving on to the 7 San Andreas website, we have the same Halloween themed vehicle discounts as last week, which is 30% off the Romero hearse, 30% off the Sanctus, and 30% off the Lurcher as well. Very cool vehicles, remember guys that these vehicles and the Frankenstein as well, are only available for purchase during the Halloween event weeks every year. Now, if you bought the vehicle, it will still be on the website for you all year, but if you never bought it during the time period that you're allowed to buy it, it will not be on the website for you. Moving on to the Arena War website, so this one's quite random, so we have 50% off all the Nightmare version Arena War vehicles. So the Nightmare versions are personally my least favorite, but for half price, I mean, I think it's definitely something to think about. And that's it for vehicle discounts. Not the greatest discounts, but the Sports Classics car discounts are finally gone. And even though we got no new ones on the website for this week, I'm pretty sure it had something to do again with Rockstar experimenting with it. But again, who knows? As far as login items, you can get this orange dot tech mask, the butchery t-shirt, and the after dark t-shirt for free just for logging in this week, which is awesome. Moving on to the Double Money stuff, so we have Double Money NRP on a brand new alien business battle which only happens at night which is super cool. Something different is always nice to see in GTA and I love little additions like this. Also for those of you who are able to participate in these new alien business battles, you'll be awarded an exclusive Cold Stoppers t-shirt which is very cool. 
We also have double money NRP on the Halloween themed adversary mode just like last week which are Beast vs Slasher, Bunker Slasher, Come Out to Play, Condemned, Diamond Slasher, Lost vs Damned, Missile Base Slasher, and of course the original Slasher. So that's awesome for those of you who enjoy adversary modes, there's again a large variety to choose from again for this week. Moving on to the Prime Gaming discounts for Prime Gaming members only, I'll leave instructions in the pinned comment on how to become a Prime Gaming member if you aren't one already. So we have the same ones as last week which is 60% off the Deluxo which is an insane deal for that car again. And lastly for Prime Gaming we have 100% off to Vespucci Canals Nightclub making it absolutely free which is awesome. Again guys if you don't see a discount on the Luxo or the free Vespucci Canals Nightclub it's because you don't have your Prime Gaming account linked to your social club. Again all the information on how to do that is down below in the pinned comment. And lastly we have of course the RC Medieval Time Trial La Fuente Blanca. This week's normal time trial is Storm Drain so this one is by far the easiest time trial as it's just driving straight in the canals for a short time. I highly recommend are the Italian GTO, Pariah, Divest 8, Emerus or Krieger for that time trial. So there's a bunch of other vehicles that it can be completed with since it's one of the easiest ones but those are the vehicles I recommend to get it done the easiest on your first try. And this week's premium race is the motorcycle race a sign of things to come. I highly recommend either the Shotaro or Hakachu Drag for this race. Every Friday I post a guide on how to easily beat the time trials and the premium race, so stay tuned for that if you're new. Anyways guys, hope this was helpful. This event week is not that great in terms of discounts, but the bonus money of this week is pretty good in my opinion with good variety, especially with that new alien business battle which I'm sure a lot of people will enjoy. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.